love to hear a mount's footbeat. Some bark wood scrap for you. Those notices on the board. Too bad the gnotes couldn't read them. If you wander around here, you might find Noko. She just loves those gnotes. Once the power ran out, it made sense to ride gnotes. And that tradition continued through the years. Nope, you still have to feed them. But food's easier to find than go juice. Watch your... Let's see. Found it! Even under all the muck in the gnote pen. Hard to believe the gnotes didn't trample it. The kind of pollution a gnote produces might stink, but it usually washes away in the next rain. You should keep moving. Can't let those gnotes blaze the trails for you. Can't be too many days like this left at the rate the world is ending. Nooks isn't an easy language, but at least it's manageable. She says she is so happy to see you again. She wonders if you remember her. She's Noko. 
She let you ride her majut when you were a kid. Noko remembers you used to chase around with so much energy and is glad to see you haven't lost any of that spark. But that's all long gone now, though. Memories show us where we've been, not where we're going. Is sure they'll come back on their own once you stop forcing them. Hopefully not to haunt you, though. You've suffered enough already. Noko remembers those days too, but she never lets herself wallow in them, no matter how tempting that can be. She sees your back to buck with Lupa Lupin. Can't see how there's any way to avoid that now. Not for long, at least. She says the horrors of your younger days were enough to ruin anyone, but not you. You've got all that cheer about you still. Noko says history is like the trail you've been on. You can walk back down it any time you like, until it's worn smooth. But you get to blaze your own trail from here. She wants Lupa Lupin to pay too, even though she strongly believes forgiveness is the strongest revenge. Asks how many paths you've wandered in the world and if you ever wonder about what might have changed if you'd taken different ones. The choices can be overwhelming, but you have to choose or you just stay where you are. And what kind of choice is that? Hates to think of what's going to happen to all the gnotes when the world dies. Nothing left to care for. Hates that you didn't care enough about the world to fight for it. Can't believe you joined up with the Jagni. They're constantly pecking around looking for things to swipe. If by loose you mean not nailed down, they keep trying to rustle her gnotes. But let's not speak of that now. She has an idea where the Majut might have gone as there's no other place it likes as much as its own corner of the open wild. She's even named it the Majut Meadow. The Majut will recognize the scent you've attracted while being here, so it'll probably trust you enough to follow you. You should lead the Majut back here when you find it. It's going to take time to get it calm enough to be able to ride out to the World Eater. She can't be sure. You'll have to wait and see. Don't look that beastie in the sears. Wood scraps great for building things.
found the Majut Meadow. Watch out for the Majut. Heroes are only heroes for others, but they do the work, or they're heroes to no one. Now that the Majut is back in the pen, it seems calm, but Nako is still concerned. She says the Majut is still anxious, but fortunately she knows just the thing it needs to calm down. The Majut once found and ate a bonbon gummy by mistake, and that the chewing really calmed it down. She says that you should find some bonbon gummies for the Majut by the crossway. At least, that's where she found some last time. She figures the choosies from the old world are made from gummy trees, but wouldn't be surprised if they were actually made from some chemical concoction, though. This thing has a mind of its own. But I can't hear man.
Cranks like these usually need to be wound to operate the dispenser. Just a few moves left. Make them count. What you see is what you get, once it's out of the blind box, that is. It's darkest between the stars. With its attention diverted to the chewy bonbon gummy, the Majut calms down. But Noko is still concerned. She's relieved the Majut has calmed down, but you'll need a heavier sit tight to ride it than the one she's got. The only sit tight she can think of that would be heavy enough is one she's spotted mounted on an old world Mecha Majut. If she remembers correctly, she spotted it at the Smilo Shopperia while scavenging for treats for the Gnotes. That's not so far away. Seems to her they preferred the Mechamajuts over the living counterparts in the old world. Maybe the Gnotes were near extinct? Hates the fact that they can't sleep with the monster. The beast comes roaming around day and night and they can't get Believes the less hulks in this world, the better. Claims that the monstrous fluff hulk has You're the only one with a prayer against that monstrous fluff hulk. Don't let your mount ignore you. The Smilo Shopperia. Guess shopping here put a smile on you. The antenna needs to be pointed in the right direction. As the eye box broadcasts, it's hit or miss, but when it does hit, it's usually right in the fields. The right key could open this. Get 
tutti ama se le mai multe e pasi le ne Eri tutti ama se le mai multe e pasi le ne Mistakes get made in the dark. You need to line up the switches so they match. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. Disgusting. Biohazard. Just gross. Now hold on. Sit tight. Isn't that the Mechamajot over there? You need to loosen the bolts without rattling the Mechamajot. Just a few moves left. Make them count. That's it. The sit tight is loose. Time to stop horsing around and get the sit tight back to Noko. The mount's ears are not handles. Always good to have some wood scrap like that on hand. Just don't trip when you're walking in the mountains.
Locker in lock. That notice board is cleaner than just about anything else around here. Your nun This place used to pump sludge from the ground for fuel. If you think the sludge was nasty, not much anymore. Toxin oil was bad at all sorts of things. You can probably find a track around. You're maybe not sure. Maybe that key will match. Made it all worth it. Looks valuable. Nothing spews bullets like this one.
Aria loche nui mumera, vas en o casa man wuru. Now that the majut's got a mouthful of bon bon gummy and the brand new sit tight is in place, the majut is ready to ride. Kealdo male canodo, vas en o casa man wuru. Nocco's been training another fantabulous little critter that'll hopefully become a distraction for the hoof puff when you confront it. Kala kamonu amu. She's called them glitter moths, and the best way to find them is to go talk to Mito. She's asked him to keep them somewhere safe. Bialtu, ma'am. You'll find Mito at Brightlight. He's a light-headed fellow, but hopefully he'll remember where he stored the moths. Gala. They're small airborne creatures with bright reflective wings and a conspicuous fluttering flight. The best part of this ride is it runs on green stuff. much scrap, plastic or otherwise. Some e-waste for you. With the world getting darker by the day, there's not much time left to save it. And even though you've just met, he feels you're bound to play a huge part in that. Says there's so much darkness to deal with. Rather than curse it, he makes lamps to fight it. You found your way through the darkness. You shine like the sun in the sky. But will you use that power to warm the world? or burn it, begs you to center yourself in the light. It can show you the way out of the darkness. No matter where your path takes you, though, it's important to remember where you came from. The past bright lights the present. Wonders if you know how much of an effect you've had upon the world. Your presence changes things like light changes darkness. Did you realize that when choosing where to shine? Figures that doesn't matter. You can't help but shine either way. Wishes you could see your way toward using your fire to light the way in the world, rather than burn it down. Stunned that you decided the world wasn't worth saving, what was it that burned you? Thinks it's funny you worked with the Jagni. They tried to rob him once, but he scorched away any that got too close. Da 
Asombo to go. Says if they didn't want to get seared, they shouldn't have been so close. Says he can see by the twinkle in your eyes that you're not here to talk about your allies. He assumes you are here to be enlightened. He can't blame you as everything just feels dark and hopeless these days. There's something about you, like you're knit together, your fates connected. What you've said, he feels too. So why not call him me too? He senses you're like the dayfly, living every day like it's your last, afraid that when night comes, it might be proved right. Believes no one is entirely dark. Even the worst have a spark of good in them. Mito says he's not only into those who shine bright, he likes things that glitter too. He reckons you haven't seen a glitter moth and says it's about time you did. Even though they're nesting near gone grass, they never run out of glow. Finding yourself a glitter moth would give you that glimmer of hope you need to continue all the way to the end. You really do need them alive. Dead glitter moths fade. No time to graze, let's go. That's a flesh wound. Faster, better.
you've got everything you need to make something special. There are tough times ahead, no matter where you go. Blisterboo, known for its perfect temperature and atmosphere. There they are. You fixed those flame flies fast. You fixed those flame flies fast. You fixed those flame flies fast.
Just be glad that beastie let you on. They used to call this a thoroughfare. Look at all those old homes. Sure useful. Find his keepers. Place there's a real fixer-upper, not an entirely lost cause. Look at that metal scrap over there. Destiny. Yours, mine, the entire world's. Balance is the key. Sure to be useful. Little Moth Cave is right here. Could be a pretty sky tonight. This place is called Brightlight. Mito lives close by. Mito says there's darkness in everyone's life, but as a lamp maker, he wants you to know there's light too. 
You look like you're in need of a special get through the night lamp. But to make something like that, he'd need a flame fly. Says using dark tactics is an awful way to find a light. Mito says he's ready to enlighten you. Dolpho. Says goodbye to you. This could be the beginning of the end of everything. Mito seems mesmerized by the flame fly. It's fire now burning in his heart, too. Mito says the flame flies have always acted as guiding lights in his life, but with so little time left, he can't just make a lamp from scratch for you. Sometimes there are ether lanterns as light as paper floating around in the sky at night. One of those would make a perfect fit for your fly. Scour the night sky and get him an ether lantern to work with, and do it before the flame fly's life is snuffed out. Hopes that you let his light grow within you instead. Mito says you're making sense to him. Says goodbye to you.
Kuri Kumbalamuma. That's enough glitter moths to make her plan work. She wants you to stop worrying about the paths you've ridden and focus on the inevitable road ahead, the one that leads to confrontation with the World Eater. The hoof puff is evidence of the duality of evolution, utterly beautiful and grotesque at the same time. She means that the hoof puff has had more time to eat at the root as it's been isolated in the Knoopstonies mountains. So, Based on that alone, she reckons it has suffered as much damage as the northwest root that's hidden beneath the surf. Everything in nature is dual, and so is evolution, as it struggles to find balance in creation. She wonders what could be more beautiful than imperfection. This mount has quite a bounce to it. There they are. Now, catch them. That old home might not be stripped clean yet. Well, what do you know? Your destiny waits on the path you'll take to avoid it.
Ah, go get on it and run fast as you can. You run like the wind. You need to turn the pegs in sync. Just a few moves left. Make them count. You really put a spin on it. Don't know what that e waste was. It's so vibrant out during daylight. Stories keep moving whether you drive them or not. Personal. 
Well placed. Now that's quality material. At least you got something for your trouble. Darkness makes you miss the light. There they are. You fixed those flame flies fast. Make so many amazing things out of wood scrap. There's a lot on the line here. A motor juice station. Guess they filled up motors with go juice here. Emission. A smartphone would leave. Radiant. 
rubber scrap is too much fun. So stretchy. You seem to have made a new friend. That was a wild ride. Fixed those flame flies fast. Seems to hold up. If the mount didn't throw you, you're good. See that rubber scrap? That'll add a bit of bounce for you.
Here you can feel the circle of life. in the face. Whatever you do, do it right, or don't do it at all. The Tubflu outpost. The Lotus tribe carved this out forever ago. Let's see. Enjoy the Toto Grotto there. It's got it all. an odd thing, don't you think?
This won't be a field trip. It's the real thing. 